so here we'll discuss how we can use the combination of nor gates to design uh, xor gate and xnor gate okay so first let us uh, see what is the basic uh, format of the output of an xor gate so this is the xor gate two inputs let's say a and b and the output is given by a xor b this is the xor symbol which is a complement b or a b complement and uh, the xnor this is xor and the xnor is the same but the complemented version of the xor this is nothing but the complement of xnor xor this is the xnor output this is the xnor symbol it's a complement of the xor output okay so we have to use this expression to implement the xor and the xnor using a combination of nor gates okay so let us see how we can do that so the output of the xor gate is given in this way okay this is the output of the xor gate and we have to convert it into a way so that it can be easily implemented using nor gate so we'll use these rules of boolean algebra to modify this expression so that it can be easily implemented using or gate now we know this rule of boolean algebra that when we double complement a signal we'll get the same signal so here we'll double complement it because it will cause no change in the value of the signal okay next we'll use this rule of de morgan's theorem which converts a or expression into a and so if a or expression is whole complemented we'll get an and expression with the individual terms complement so here we will convert this or into and first okay so we are breaking this first top complement so it will be a complement b and a b complement whole complement okay so we have converted this expression into this form next the second de morgan's theorem states that if we complement a and expression we'll get a or expression with the individual terms complemented so we'll use this rule to these two terms to convert these and terms into or okay so it will be a double complement or b complement and a complement or b double complement the whole complement will be there okay now we know that the double complement of a signal which will cause no change in the value of the signal so we can remove this double complement portions now we will use this rule of de morgan's theorem again to convert this and into or by breaking this complement sign so it will be we'll use this theorem to convert this and into or so it will be a or b complement whole complement or a complement or b whole complement so now you can see in this expression all the terms are in or form there is no and symbol here so now we can easily implement 
this expression using a NOR gate to give us the desired XOR gate output. Okay? So, let us see how we can do it. So, let us just write this here for reference. It is A or B complement, whole complement or A complement or B whole complement. So, we will use this expression to design an XOR gate using NOR gate. So, here the signals which we have to generate are the individual signals are A, B, A complement, B complement, then A or B complement whole complement and A complement or B whole complement. So, always when you have a task to represent a given logical expression using a particular universal gate or any gate, so first thing which you need to do is to identify the signal groups which are the individual isolated signals which you have the group of signals which you have to generate. If you just write it down separately, it will be easy for you. See, we have to generate these signals and then combine them to generate this whole expression. Okay? So, let us see. So, first we will use the NOR gate. Okay? We have to design it using NOR gate. So, first we have the signal A which is uncomplemented, then we will give it a shorted input to a NOR gate to get A complement. So, we got A complement. Similarly, we will give a signal, another signal B, a shorted input to another NOR gate which will give us B complement. Next, we have to generate these two individual signals A plus B complement whole complement and A complement plus B whole complement. So, okay, we will use another NOR gate here. To this, we will give A and B complement. It will be a plus B complement whole complement. Okay, so it's a NOR gate. I missed the bubble. So it is A plus B complement whole complement. We got this expression. Now we have to generate this signal. So it will be. Uh, we'll use another NOR gate here. Okay, and we'll give this B signal okay, B and A complement. Now, this, uh, this curve represents that these signals, the signal lines are not shorted. Okay? So, whenever you see that the signal lines are not shorted, you have to make a curve here. So, that it, it represents that the signal lines are not shorted together. Okay. So, here we have given A complement and B. So, this gives us A complement or B whole complement. Now, we have got the individual signals. Again, we will give it to another NOR gate, which will give us A plus B complement whole complement plus or sorry A complement or B whole complement this we will get this signal. Now, we have to remove this top complement because in the original expression the top complement is missing. Okay? We do not need this top complement. So, in order to do that we will give this signal as shorted input 
to another NOR gate. Okay. This will give us the required signal. This is the required XOR gate output which we want. This is the required XOR gate output. Now, we know that the XNOR gate output is just the complement of the XOR gate output. So, you can see that this output itself here is the XNOR. This output here itself is the XNOR because it is the complement of that. If you want, you can take it from here. Okay. So, this output here itself is XNOR. Otherwise, what you can do is that you can add another extra NOR gate here and you will get the XNOR gate output. Here, the principle we are utilizing is that this. We are converting this XOR into XNOR using this principle. So, this signal here itself is the XNOR expression. Okay? We convert it into XOR by complementing it again. So, either you can take the XNOR expression from here or you can add another extra XOR gate here to get the XNOR expression. So, always be uh, familiar with the rules of Boolean algebra because they are going to be used frequently while designing logical circuits for logical expression using various logic gates be it the basic logic gates or the universal logic gates. Okay? So, this here, this is the XOR expression and we have two expressions, two outputs as XNOR. Here, this is the XNOR gate output, here another XNOR gate output. So, you can take it from either side, but I would recommend that you in, in practical circuits, the output will be taken from here because to minimize the number of gates connected. Okay? So, here we have designed uh, a NOR, uh, the XOR gate and the XNOR gate using a combination of NOR gates. So, you please follow this video step by step in all of the videos where the design process is being conducted. Wherever you do not understand, you just pause the video, look at the circuit, draw it yourself uh, in rough so that you are familiar with the whole process. Okay? So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.